Hello, I'm Nick Stone. I'm the conference producer at uh, Art Group, and today we're talking about risk and compliance, particularly risk and compliance for law firms. Delighted to introduce Colin Taylor, the partner at JLT Specialty. Colin, you'll be seeing a lot at the event that we are doing for law firms on risk and compliance at the end of January, and I'm here to talk to you today about a couple of things that we'll be covering at the event in January. So here we are in November. It could be a very different world in January. Mm. What do you think we might be talking about in January? Give us a flavour. I'm loath to use the B word, uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, so much is, is revolved around the, the property market yeah. uh, and particularly for risk for, for mm -hmm. solicitors firms and, uh, and valuers and the like. So yeah. anything that may have an impact mm -hmm. on, on the UK economy yeah. um, or the property market in general mm -hmm. uh, is a concern mm -hmm. for insurers. Yeah. Um, and given the claims made basis of, mm. of PI insurance, of course, uh, the uncertainty revolving around yeah. Brexit uh -huh. and, and to a certain extent British foreign policy, yep. American foreign policy with uh, uh, Russian money um, yep. or money coming into the UK property market. Uh, any of those is going to, to cause concern yeah. uh, for insurers and it should also be on the radar and I'm sure it is mm. on the radar for all the law firms uh, that, that, are, that are in England and Wales at the present moment. So I think that's certainly yep. um, regulatory wise, the SRA are are moving yeah. uh, the regulatory framework yeah. almost almost daily. So yeah. uh, with that backdrop, it's a very challenging time to be involved in compliance for, for a law firm. Absolutely. That's going to keep us busy in January. Now, the October renewals, the October insurance, what's your, what's your take on that at the moment? Uh, I think uh, the, the England and Wales solicitors still mm -hmm. probably about 60% mm -hmm. of the of the solicitors in yeah. the, uh, still renew on the 1st of October, yeah. uh, which is still a challenging time uh, for insurers and, and mm. brokers at that time, given the workload. But I think it, it, it depends on the size of the mm. law firm as to where the issues uh, are. And I think for most solicitors' firms, um, uh, there were still reasonable mm. deals to be, to be had. Mm. I think brokers need to work a bit harder. Yeah. Uh, there were still options out there. So, but we're certainly on a cusp. Um, and uh, I think some of the larger law firms, mm. particularly uh, with Libra mm. no longer yes. uh, underwriting some of those yes. larger law firms, uh, there was uh, some angst uh, yeah. uh, coming up for yeah. a, a, what is a very, very important uh, insurance for, for everybody to have, demonstrating such, mm. uh, to have practicing yeah. certificates. So, you know, it, it can be immensely stressful, mm. but it mm. does show that the need to pre-plan and, mm. and think ahead, not just for this renewal, or the October renewal this yeah. year, but the subsequent one and the one after think that. Ahead. So we need to think ahead about these sort of things. But I think generally most people will see uh, uh, a premium that mm. was that was mm. somewhat mm. similar. Yep. Some will have had an increase. Um, very few would have seen a reduction. <laughs> now, uh, Colin will be chairing the event, but we're pleased to have Colin speaking on uh, looking at uh, a general risk outlook. And I wonder what your thinking is. What's what's ahead for us in the next 12, 18 months? Well, which subject do you pick on on first? Um, yeah. I think still uh, cyber still yes, remains client money. Uh, and the, the somewhat ease that, that seems to be mm. um, that, that uh, cyber criminals have of, mm -hmm. of persuading solicitors to mm -hmm. part with their client money yeah. by sending it to a new account. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, we deal with many, many firms and, and they have good systems and procedures, yep. but it's still human error that, uh, that can come to the fore. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, solicitors, um, uh, insurance and professional indemnity insurers in mm -hmm. particular, uh, preferred some of the good old-fashioned yeah. negligence yeah. on the basis it took some years mm -hmm. for those claims mm -hmm. to mature to actually part with cash mm -hmm. but now with uh, putting back money into mm -hmm. into client account almost immediately insurers are faced with mm -hmm. paying out large sums of money mm -hmm. um, and that can really uh, affect yeah. uh, not just the, uh, the the finances of a firm, mm -hmm. but the reputation, not just in the uh, with clients and yeah. potential clients, but also your reputation with insurers. Yes. Um, you know, you trade each year as a law firm mm. based on the basis that you can have <laughs> insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think reputational mm -hmm. risk is, mm. is going to be um, very, very important. But uh, with the Lloyd's thematic review mm. that's uh, identified a number of problem areas, 
One being non-US professional yep. indemnity insurance mm -hmm. is, has been highlighted as a as a risk area, and within that, within that, as yep. a key subset, yep. uh, England and Wales law firms um, are uh, seen as mm -hmm. uh, a major loss-making mm -hmm. area for for Lloyd syndicates. Mm -hmm. So, they have been tasked uh, with going away and coming mm -hmm. back with new business plans, yep. and. Uh, We'll be discussing that yeah. uh, at the conference. We'll have a better view of, of how that uh, how that is is starting to pan yeah. out. But it, it certainly had an effect, starting effect, on yeah. the first of October mm -hmm. in Europe, on the excess layer policies, which have been notorious, uh, notoriously cheap <laughs> compared yeah. to the risks yeah. that underwriters mm -hmm. have taken. So I think that's certainly some things that that, that are on the horizon uh, that will have an, yeah. uh, an effect next year. Thank you, Colin. And I think you'll agree there's going to be a lot to cover in the event in January. You'll be seeing uh, Colin chairing the event, Colin from JLT Specialty. Colin, I want to thank your time coming in this morning. Absolute pleasure. And we look forward to seeing Colin and you at the event in January. Thank you.